So as as of today, it is February 1st, 2024. So we've already had a whole month go by this year. I can't not believe how fast this first month has flown by. So um, anyway, something that was that I've been thinking about a lot lately is um, this is for creators. Um, just a question I have, you know, about being a creator, discipline, and social media. And what I've been thinking about is that if you, like, if you um, need to do certain creative endeavors that take a lot of discipline, like writing, you know, be it writing screenplays, writing songs, writing novels, you know, and uh, a lot of people today have like an ADD. It's hard to focus because there's so much. Um, I know that I struggle with those kind of things with focus, but I have written a lot of songs in my life. But um, um, I think that in the past few years, it's been harder for me to sort of um, kind of flesh out longer kind of things uh, that take more work and, and I feel like I revert to the social media thing too much and what's on YouTube, you know, I mean, I know we always had TV and stuff like that, but I feel like I was, I wasn't a huge TV watcher. If anything, I feel like before YouTube, I used to go to movies more. Now I don't even feel like going to, uh, like, there's not that big urge to go to movies anymore. So I guess it's just like reflecting on the sea change of the way that social media affects us. And um, there's a fear that I have that I could just let years go by. And, you know, what did I do this year? Well, I definitely was used a lot of social media. I definitely used, you know, a lot of YouTube, but how much, like... How much did I write? How much did I record? How much did I, did I release this or that? Or how, you know, what did I make? What did I produce? You know, and so I think that's partly why I've been making so many videos lately because for me, that's just kind of the medium that when I'm out and about, when I'm traveling, that I can do more easily, you know, and do more and, and, and I get more inspired like when I see you know, a funny cat or a fun or a beautiful tree or something like I can just, you know, produce something myself. But, but I, I can like, when I get back from a bike ride and I'm laying in bed and I'm tired, you know, I could pull a pen out and, you know, jot down a page of notes in a journal and do some poetry or something. But I don't lately tend to do that. I tend to go onto YouTube and flip through all the interesting things that people say on YouTube. And I feel like it sort of amps me up to hear like David Goggins or Perry Farrell or somebody that I look up to like talk about, uh, you know, Rick Rubin or, or Bono or whatever, you know, just like, and, um, funny enough, actually Bono's not even been in the media as much as a lot of people lately. Um, you know, of course, U2 is doing the concerts, but you don't see him, like, you know, on YouTube in the way you see, like, a Jordan Peterson or a Rick Rubin or something like that, you know. But, um, anyway, uh, so, I just need to develop a, a healthy way of dealing with social media and, what I've been doing is I've been turning off the Wi-Fi in my room at night. Like, say it's like a certain time and I'm like, okay, this I'm, I don't want to do this for another hour or two hours. I literally push the button on the Wi-Fi. And a lot of times immediately after that, I'll be like, oh, shoot, I wanted to look up this or that interview or that that podcast. Or like, you know, oh, Bobby Lee was just on Joe Rogan or this or that. But you know what? You just have to look at it another time because if you're up all night and you're just like watching stuff on YouTube till two, three in the morning and not getting your sleep, 
That is not good, man. Not good woman. You know. So, and I've done it plenty of times. I'm up too late tonight, although it's not super late. I think it's just it's just after midnight, which really, in practical terms and purposes, really sh- I shouldn't be up much later than this. You know, it's just that it comes so naturally for me to be up at night for some reason. So, um, anyway, I just wanted to hear from like creators and artists and musicians you know if they ever get tempted which is like oh instead of like playing guitar I'm gonna watch this guitar player or you know instead of writing a poem I'm gonna listen to the, someone else's poem like how do you deal with like you want to be a producer more than a consumer right like how, like what's the discipline in that of not getting too caught up being a consumer although you know I know I know when you're a musician or something, you, yeah, you got to consume a certain amount of art, a certain amount of work, but, but, um, how much time do we spend listening to sort of like political nonsense? It doesn't really like, you know, people are always afraid of this president or that president. And like how much of your political worry day to day has really made your life better? You know what I mean? Like, you're like, like, do you really need to know about things happening uh, simultaneously? All 800 things are happening within, you know, 15,000 miles of you, you know, or, you know, um, everything at the same time, you know. So I, I actually wrote a song called Everything Happens at the Same Time because, you know, there's always horrible things going on in the universe and there's always great things going on in the universe at the same time. And if we're just bombarded with all the news that's going on at the same time, you know, it's it's kind of like people get like really um, ticked off about certain wars or whatever because of how it's portrayed in the media. But then there might be certain wars that are like even worse, but you're just not hearing about it, right? Like there could be something in Yemen going on and you never hear a thing about it, right? But then it's like something else is like on the front page of news every day. So it's like, are you getting enraged at that particular thing? Because that's what's on the focus when there's other things going on all over the world that are just as bad. And and really, is it is it really serving you to kind of know everything that's going on all the time? Is that what like the the apple of knowledge is? Is that maybe knowing everything? you know, that's going on in the world (laughs) isn't the best thing if you're, like, an artist or, or, you know, trying to be a thinker or philosopher. You know, maybe you need to shut that filter off for a little while, you know, and just tap into your what's inside, you know. And that's not, like, really the same as saying that you got to, like, not have empathy and not care about what's going on in the world, but, like, but we only have so much we can do about, like, um, like, what's going on in our world, you know what I mean, we can't really, if we're focused on all this stuff that's 10,000 miles away, we're forgetting about stuff that's in the immediate, right, Uh, immediate media, right, so, I don't know, I'm just thinking of this because I'm trying to navigate my life into a new way, and sometimes I just think, oh, I just want to throw away my cell phone, but it's like, I like I like having a phone where I can film things, where I can look something up on Google Maps, or like, you know, I can look something up. You know, I like having that, but I don't I don't want to have the the part of it that possesses me to be on it for hours at a time. You know what I mean? And I know it just takes a lot of discipline. So, and, you know, it's like, do I have ADD, or does everybody have ADD? You know what I mean? It's like... You know, but I think that I probably have ADD probably higher than average, and I ha- and I don't medicate it, so it's kind of like I have to work really hard to uh, get things done, you know. But uh, that's also why I think it's it's really important for me to specialize in things that I'm passionate about because I have a hard time focusing on something that I'm not interested in, so... Anyway, I'm just, if anyone can just relate with what I'm saying at all, I'd love to hear from you, and thank you for even listening this far. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Peace. Love you. 
Take care.